Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the environment that I used in my previous short film. Now, I'm not being paid to promote this guy, but he probably has the most photorealistic environments in the Epic Marketplace right now. And what my goal is actually to promote these guys so they can make more money and in return they can create more environments for me to use but i actually have two of his environments i have the rocks and boulders and i do have the burned dead forest and i know this looks expensive but just keep an eye out because whenever epic marketplace has sales definitely take a look at this and make sure that this is in your favorite so we're going to go ahead and open this up in the project and just kind of like change some settings around because what this uh because his his maps are actually changeable like the forest biome right here i know the burn dead forest you can change to winter as well so whenever you purchase this stuff he actually updates the maps as well which is really cool because he doesn't charge anything extra for that all right so we have here is the map that you guys saw already and if i go to the post process actually i have already here i can turn it up and you can see and go ahead and turn on my gpu here let's go to okay it's in cinematics that's good and after talking to him he said he actually does all of this by himself which is kind of like me i guess he's insane very talented guy um solo guy i guess but the quality out of this map actually we're actually streaming oversize here so let's go ahead and take care of that Texture, streaming, you can turn that off by the way um, in the .ini files where as well, but uh, we'll turn that on for now. Look at this. And the cool thing about this is, this is not even ray traced. And I know, I think if I read it somewhere, that this is actually not ray traceable. Uh, as far as I know, I, I think I read like the manual, it's not ray traceable, which is okay. Because this thing is still, it's still a pretty nasty asset. And like I said, I hope he starts making some indoors as well. Like abandoned warehouses and stuff like that. Because this is some high quality stuff. And what I'm going to do is actually change this into the winter scene like I told you guys earlier. So the way you can do that here is extremely extremely e uh, easy so so if i go to the levels right here you're gonna see some lighting and if you go to the content browser you're gonna see that there's a lighting level for the winter time frame now you can drop the snow if you want like this on this lighting kind of scenario but what i'm gonna do is actually change the lighting to the preset here and then add some snow okay so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to the levels and I'm going to delete the sliding right now or I can just untick it here and it's going to turn everything dark. Uh, and then I'm going to go to levels, create new or add existing, sorry. And then we're going to go to the lighting winter. And as you can see, you just turned it on, kind of has that winter cold feel to it. And it turned off the fire as well. All right and what we're gonna do is actually drop this new ninja in the scene now this again is made by another talented german uh 3d cg model now i do have two of his i'm gonna control z that i have two of his models right now i have this guy and i have the robot and this model even though it was made for blender it looks pretty darn good in unreal engine as well uh, so I'm going to drop that in there and as you can see just like that you just created this mood you know and oh my gosh it's it's amazing I mean just dropping this guy in this scene already tells a story you know so that's just that's really cool so let's go ahead and you know do some add some snow here you know uh, if I go to the uh, folder which I think is called burn dead forest and I'm going to go to the materials. I'm going to go to master. And I'm going to go to function. You should see something like winter here. Now, 
it's right here the master material now we have to turn these on right here if you want to use an event like event begin play if you're trying to use it for like a video game all you have to do is select all of this and I just follow this tutorial in the documentation and you just turn this on like this and that's actually you know, compile a lot of shaders here you're gonna see okay and I'm gonna go ahead and minimize and as you can see it's compiling shaders for the entire scene and this is really cool now I don't know if I'm going to crash because I am also running OBS right now to record this. So uh, what I'm probably going to do is just turn down our settings here, our scalability to probably high so we can turn it on. Okay, and I actually haven't tried this yet, but let's let's take a look. I think I have to re remove this lighting here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Yes. And you're going to right click this and change streaming method to always loaded. So when we press play here, it should work. There you go. It's pretty darn cool. Look at that. And it's actually changing. That's awesome. That looks so cool. And it's actually building up the floor as well now I'm not mapped so I can't move around so uh, it, I don't have the third par party uh, I don't have the third person controller so let's go ahead and see if I can change it back out and try it again that's really cool it actually comes with sound effects as well alright so I'm gonna press stop right there and if you want it to actually show up in your scene, which, you know, I'm probably going to need whenever I'm, you know, creating short skits and whatnot. Uh, to do that, you go to the content browser, go to master, go to PAR, turn this controller on. And if you, ski if you go to here, and I'm going to go with one, I'm going to minimize this real quick. As you can see, you can actually control the snow on the ground which is so freaking cool so if I go right there save it now I have a little bit of snow and it matches everything so it's it's pretty darn cool and this asset looks amazing and let's go ahead and turn it up just a little bit I know it's supposed to be winter but let's go ahead and turn it up just a bit so we're not crushing too much I mean look at this how cool is that so yeah, that's pretty much it. I know somebody wanted to know like where I get my environments from and characters from. Honestly, uh, unfortunately, I'm not a very good 3D modeler or creator, environment creator. So I get majority of the stuff that I make with online. And I am going to be making videos about that as far as where you can get assets. But the number one place is obviously the Epic Marketplace because you'll find stuff like this now. Right now, it's pretty limited. Like I said, Maui United is probably the most photorealistic maps you're going to find out there. So that's why I'm kind of running into a problem right now because a majority of this stuff are all outdoors and you know i have ideas for indoors as well and spaceships and stuff like that but i'm just gonna have to wait until the quality of the environments in the epic marketplace will actually look this good so uh, if you guys have any questions let me know and i will see you guys later